Combustion. Humans do a lot of burning. In the past, we burned a lot of wood, and we still burn some. We burn huge amounts of the fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas. Sometimes we burn hydrogen. Although we burn different things, in every case, the substance that we burn, the fuel, combines with oxygen in a chemical reaction that releases energy, usually heat and light, and often sound. Reactions of this type are called combustion reactions. Energy isn't the only product of combustion reactions, but usually the other products are treated as waste. For example, when we burn coal, it produces carbon dioxide as well as energy. And when we burn hydrogen, we get water as well as energy. In both of these cases, the chemical products are gases that we leave to drift off into the atmosphere. Some combustion reactions are very fast. If you mix hydrogen and oxygen gases before setting them alight, the reaction occurs in a split second. We call it an explosion rather than burning. And it's the same inside a car engine. The fuel is mixed with air in the cylinder and explodes with a spark from the spark plug. But put the same fuel in, say, a camping stove, and it burns. It's the same combustion reaction, just happening at a different rate. Combustion reactions are incredibly important for the way we live. We use them to keep warm, to heat water, to cook, to move cars, ships and planes, for manufacturing and to produce electricity. But they're not always helpful, and they can get out of control.